Our cantors did a beautiful interpretation of the Song of the Sea, and we are so lucky today that our third graders volunteered at last minute, so they have not had very much time to practice. In fact, they've only had two rehearsals. They volunteered to put on an interpretation of the Torah portion for us today, and so I hope that you will support them and be very enthusiastic.
You know, it's very hard to do business when there are swarms of insects. Then comes pestilence. All our farm animals are lying sick. But does Pharaoh let the Hebrews go? No, we are Last week, everybody breaks out in boils. The dermatologist had patients lined up for blocks. This week, it's hailing. Each hailstone is the size of a cow's hoof. Pharaoh, we're patient people, but have mercy on us. These guys are making us crazy. What do you say, Lady Pharaoh? Off with your heads. <laughs> so Pharaoh remains stubborn and he will not let the Hebrews go, just as God had foretold through Moses. Now I think she's serious. In here. 
case, the Hebrew, Hebrews left on foot about six million plus children, and they baked unleavened bread in haste. The length of time that they lived in Egypt was 430 years, and God commanded 